Scientists at the National Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta today released the results of a study which shows that the lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. Robert Bazell now in Atlanta. Bobby Campbell of San Francisco and Billy Walker of New York both suffer from a mysterious newly discovered disease which affects mostly homosexual men but has also been found in heterosexual men and women. The condition severely weakens the body's ability to fight disease. Many victims get a rare form of cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma. Others get an infection known as pneumocystis pneumonia. Researchers know of 413 people who have contracted the condition in the past year. One third have died and none have been cured. Death didn't scare me. It was, it was uh, living with this for a long time. That's more frightening than, uh, than death. Investigators have examined the habits of homosexuals for clues. I was in the fast lane at one time in terms of the way that I lived my life, and now I'm not. The best guess is that some infectious agent is causing it. Today, researchers here at the National Centers for Disease Control said they had found several cases where people who had been sex partners both had the condition. The scientists say this probably means they are dealing with some new, deadly, sexually transmitted disease. The investigators see this as a serious public health problem. From an epidemic point of view, uh, there have been more deaths from Kaposi's sarcoma and pneumocystis pneumonia than have occurred with all the cases of toxic shock syndrome and the Philadelphia outbreak of Legionnaire's disease combined. Researchers are now studying blood and other samples from the victims, trying to learn what is causing the disease. So far, they have had no luck. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Atlanta.